Today I'm going to show you how to change your tyre and your tube. Just a few tools. A tyre lever. A pump. This one's a portable one you can take with you. Or a more permanent one. A floor pump. Here's a number of different tyre levers. Uh, four of them are plastic. And this one's an old one. It's a metal one. It'll last a long time. Very strong. But unfortunately, it will damage your tyre and your tube, so they're no good. What to look for on a good tyre lever, especially if you're using high pressure tyres, is a rounded head. As you can see, that's a rounded head. This one has a rounded head as well. This one is plastic, but it's squared off. Not so good. It tends to pinch the tube. So we won't use that one. And this one, the same, has a square, sharp edge bit. So, nice round head, they're the best, less likely to um, pinch your tube. And having a little hook on the end, that's a bonus, I'll explain that later. Okay, firstly, I'm assuming that you've got a, either a flat tyre or let the tyre down. If it's your rear wheel, put your cog on the other side, so you're working on the non-cog side. Then you get your tyre lever, put your valve down the bottom. Work on the opposite side. With the tyre completely flat, make sure it's completely flat. So just pull back the tyre with your thumb and insert the head of the tyre lever and just flip it over and it hooks the beading of your tyre over the rim. So hold that. So firstly I'll show you using two tyre levers. Do the same thing, pull back with your thumb. Insert it about far, four to five centimetres away from the other one. Not too far. Pull that one down. There's the little hooky bit on the end. You usually hook it on your spoke. In this case it's not going to hold because of this designed wheel. So hold it with your fingers like that. And then just pull down the other lever. And there you go. It pops off the beading even further. As you can see. So with one tyre lever, pull the lever down so the tyre comes off the rim a bit. Then you need to pull fairly hard back towards yourself. And hold it with this finger, or your thumb or your hand so it doesn't slide off anymore. Pull back and it should come off. So then you go all the way around, past the valve and back to where you started, and that's it, you've got half off. Remember from the opposite end of your valve, put your fingers under, just pull the tube out. There's your tube. Then go to your valve end, pull your tyre back over, and that should just pull straight out. This one's got a bit of sticky tape on there. So that's it. For your tube and your tyre should just peel off. So you can put your thumbs there, push it over the edge. Push it over the edge. And then with your palm of your hand, it should just push off. Okay. If you're changing your tube because you've got a flat tyre, remember always check underneath your tyre on the inside and feel with your fingers if there's anything that would have given your tube a puncture. Sometimes it can be a prickle sticking out, a bit of wire, even a piece of glass. Just be careful with your fingers too.
Let's do it lightly. And pull out if you find something. If it's fine, it should be alright. Okay, now you're ready to put your new tyre or your previous tyre on. And you can start at either the bottom or the top. I'm starting at the bottom. And just put half of the tyre on. Some tyres have a steel beading in them and they stay in shape. So it's easy to put them on. This one has a, a floppy Kevlar bead. Okay, so then when you get to the end, it gets a little bit harder. Just go a little bit at a time, even if you have to go half a centimetre at a time, and it will just pop on. There we go, it's popped on. So then you, at the valve, pull back the tyre, insert the valve into the valve hole, have a little bit of air in the tube, just puff with your mouth, put a little bit of air in, give it a bit of form, and just tuck it up inside, up into the tyre. Work from the valve at the top and work away from the valve on both sides. Make sure that tube is tucked up inside your tyre as you go around. Don't want it popping out between your tyre and your rim. So it gets harder toward the end. Keep making sure, pushing up with your fingers, make sure that tube is up inside the tyre. Now at this point, when it gets tighter, let your air out of the tube completely flat again. And for the last bit, little bit, you can either use your thumbs and if it gets really hard, use the palm of your hands. Now I'm using my thumbs, there's the palm of your hand and push, even if it has to be half a centimetre at a time, there you go, it'll pop on. There you go, done. If you find the tyre is really hard to get on, as in this case, just assuming it's really hard, you want to use a tyre lever, just make sure that the tube is well away from the rim, tucked up, so it doesn't pinch when you use your tyre lever, otherwise you'll puncture it. Just work it little bit by little bit and there you go. Now push the valve stem up into the tyre and that seats the tube away from the rim. A lot of people miss this point, it's very important. You must make sure that the tube is tucked up inside the tyre before you begin pumping up the tyre, the tube. So here I'm using the tyre lever, I pull back the tyre, I can see some of the tube sticking out. Now I'm dragging some of the tube in, just make sure. See how the tube's sticking out here? That's a no-no. It'll blow your tyre off the rim with high pressure. That's better, like that picture. It's tucked up inside the tyre, so that's ready to be pumped up. So now pump up your tyre to 10 or 20 pounds, so it's firm. And then spin the wheel, look very carefully at the beading, make sure it's sitting on, the tyre sitting on nicely, and there's no bumps up or down. So you can, there you go, no up and down tyre on the rim, it should be just nice and even. The same there, nice and straight, nice and even. And then pump it up. The floor pump is much quicker and easier to use and it's usually got a gauge to measure exactly the right pressure. Do up the valve lock nut. The pressure will hold it tight anyhow. It's a good idea to do it up. Put on the valve stem lock nut and the valve cap if you want to. These two items are not necessary but you can use them. With the tubes, just remember if you're out riding to take the correct valve length on your tubes. Some tubes have got a shorter one, some tubes have got a lot longer. So if you've got 
deep section rim you'll need a long valve stem or if you've got a shorter stem you need a an adapter which extends it, valve extender. So that's important, probably a good idea to take a valve extender, they're aluminium, they're very light. In case you uh, have two flaps or you forget to take a tube and your uh, cycling friends have got a tube, then if they've got a short valve one, you can always use your extension. With a deep section rim, if your valve rattles on the rim, put some electrical tape around, it's a soft tape, plastic tape, just wind a couple of times around and then put your tube in. Okay, that's it. Happy riding.